a vibrant life. Welcome to The Vibrant Life. My name is Emily Romro, and I'll be hosting this podcast every week. This project is dear to my heart, and it's been in the works for a long time. On this episode, I'll be laying down the broad strokes of what it actually means to live the vibrant life, some personal background that led me to take the leap into the podcasting universe, and what you can expect to find here in the future. First off, I want you to know that this is a special day for me. Not only is it the day I chose to launch the podcast, it's also my 30th birthday. That's right, folks, the big 3-0. As this milestone's been approaching, I've been doing a lot of meditating about my life. I'm the kind of person that goes to bed at night and a million thoughts immediately start zooming around in my brain. One thought has been shouting a lot louder than the others, and that thought is, if not now, when? Let's rewind a few years. One of the most magical memories I have is the first time my mom showed me how to write my name. My mom sat with me at the table, she helped me grip the pencil in my hand, and we traced each letter of my name and sounded it out. Then something inside me clicked and I realized that these scribbles on a blank piece of paper somehow meant me. After that I became obsessed with the quest to learn how to read and write. I never looked back, since then I've read pretty much everything I could get my hands on. Because of this great love I have for reading and learning, I thrived in elementary school. My parents and teachers were always telling me how much potential I had and how smart I was, and I believed them. I couldn't wait to grow up and become a famous writer. In junior high, everything changed. I found myself drowning in a sea of other kids and feeling invisible. My body was going through crazy changes and I felt so sad all the time. My battle with clinical anxiety and depression began. Now, I don't want to focus on this too much, but these struggles have really colored my entire adolescent and grown-up life. I want you to know that I know what it's like to feel hopeless and like you'll never be good enough. I know what it's like to spend days in bed blanketed by dreariness. When you feel like that, it takes massive amounts of energy to do simple everyday things. I've had panic attacks and felt like I was dying. I've struggled in jobs and in social situations. I bombed out of college and I still don't have a degree. I've had migraines and other physical health issues that are all part of dealing with these demons called anxiety and depression. For a long time, I kept waiting for the day when I wouldn't have to deal with these same struggles anymore. I can't count the number of times I prayed for different problems because the same issues kept rising up and time just kept marching on. Slowly and at what times feels like a glacial pace, I've come to realize that although these difficulties have never disappeared, my ability to cope with them has increased. At 30, my perspective is much more optimistic than it was at 15 or 20. And even though I still have my gray days, as I call them, I realize now that I can appreciate the vibrant days more than would have been possible otherwise. For the last several years, I feel like my Heavenly Father has been giving me a crash course in how to live the vibrant life. Now, whether you have clinical depression or not, I think adults everywhere know how tedious and monotonous life can become if we let it. It's so easy to let routine take over and rob us of the opportunity to embrace each day with excitement and enthusiasm. Let's break it down. The word vibrant is an adjective with three basic dictionary definitions. First, it can mean full of energy and enthusiasm. Second, a relation to strong vibrations and resonating sound. Third, something possessing bold or striking colors. Synonyms include vigorous, sparkling, effervescent, dynamic, stimulating, passionate. You get the idea. (laughs) That's how I want to live my life, on purpose, out loud, and in color. I want to have experiences and build relationships that resonate with who I am in my heart and that help me to become the person I long to be. And the fantastic thing is this, when two or more things vibrate at the same frequency, they take on similar characteristics. They resonate with each other. Think of the music that you love. 
There's a reason that happy, sad, or scary music all has similar chords, variations, and themes. It's because when sound vibrates at certain frequencies, that's what you feel. The science of emotion has been played on movie soundtracks for ages. Similarly, have you ever been in a room bouncing ideas around when suddenly someone has a great idea? And soon that one great idea blossoms into 400 ideas because everyone in the group has become so excited and focused on that original spark. It's because we've created that group energy. We feel the vibes and build from each other. That's why I started this podcast. I want to discover my own ways to live vibrantly, but I want you to discover your ways too. We can start a chain reaction and tap into our magnificent potential together. How will we do this? Well, I've come up with four main aspects of what it means, in my mind, to live a vibrant life. Here they are. Courage. Live on the edge of your comfort zone. Try new things. Be yourself on purpose. Say no to things if they conflict with your core beliefs. Say yes to things that will stretch and mold you into the kind of person you want to become. Wisdom. Learn all you can. Expand skills, hobbies, and talents. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from the examples of others around you. Share your knowledge and skills with others. Be interested in the wonderful world around you. Observation. Take notice of the good things in your life. Look for ways to serve those around you. Look for the beautiful things in nature or in people. And remember the little things that make life worth living. Faith. I believe in the Heavenly Father who loves us personally. I believe He can make more out of my life than I can, and if I let Him, He will guide me to the happiest ways of living this life. I believe in exercising faith to make things happen. I know that if I ask for something in faith, I will receive it as long as it's in line with God's will. Faith is a real power that makes all the difference. When you know God is on your side, how can you fail? I believe with all my heart that by implementing these four core aspects, life will be lived out loud, in color, and on purpose. We can live the vibrant life. So back to the if not now when statement I made in the beginning of the podcast. As I've built this philosophy, I've realized the importance of living life rather than simply watching it pass by. The only time we have is now and I want my nows to matter. I'm finally ready to share my writing and ideas with the world, and I hope you will find the courage to share in your way too. Now I really need to say thank you. I have the best followers. I've already had fantastic support from many of you. Thank you so much for taking a little time out of your day to spend with me. As always, I welcome any stories, comments, or feedback that listeners might want to share on the site, VibrantLifePodcast.com. There's so much we can all learn from each other. Future podcasts will be published weekly on Mondays at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Episode 2, Be Not Weary in Well-Doing, will be broadcast next Monday, February 1st. To conclude this first episode, I want to share a poem I wrote a while back to express my feelings about this subject. My name is Emily Romrell. Thanks for listening, and don't forget, live the vibrant life. Oh, my twisted heart, I wait wistfully, patiently, uncertainly, for thy doubts to unravel. Soothe the crinkled corners of your secret places, stretch the forgotten strength of youth, find again the confidence and faith born greatly and simply from truth. Oh, my frenzied mind, let go calmly, deliberately, thoughtfully, of cares beyond thy sphere. Center the immediate moment. Relish in the color and taste of today. What went before and what come after reflect mere shadows in the haze. Greatness is cousin to growth, gained by doing, seeking, exercising, the promise buried within. Crack the brittle shell that binds. Let the green and tender shoots rise up. Live the vibrant life.